what just happened is kind of like, I feel like our relationship is fully, is like, it's finished. You got Michael and Camilla and then there's Raphael. In 2018, we had Ariel. I love is real, it feels surreal. Subscribe to our channel and enjoy the frill. A typical date in a noble's household. We come from London where it's always cold. Daddy has to change the baby's bum bum. Whilst mommy has to soothe Raphael's tum tum. Things are crazy as you can tell. At the end of everything, it ends all well. The nobles. The nobles. Before we start, like something, something's just happened, and I feel like this happened out of the blue. It wasn't even planned. Mm -hmm. This is why this video is just kind of happened. My mum, like, I'm still, I still talk to my mum, and I'm still there for my mum. Um, and normally, what I do for my mum is I hold money for her because if, if I don't hold it for her, she's likely to spend it on on stuff she shouldn't be spending it on, harming her body and stuff like that. And Recently, she just literally comes around, knocks on the door, and asks for the money. And today, she came again at nine nine thirty to, to ask for more money. And I'm just like, what the hell? We got two beautiful grandchildren, and all you're doing is knocking on the door for money. As much as I've changed and I've gone to a better place, my mum, she's still doing the things she's doing, and it's still pulling me back. Like I'm pretty sad about what's just happened. To be honest, I feel like what just happened is kind of like I feel like our relationship is fully is like. It's finished. But I love my mum and stuff, but I feel, you know, you've just come here again at nine o'clock at night. My kids could have, you could have woke my kids up to ask for money. And I just feel like you don't, you don't really, you're not here for, you don't really want to see me. You don't really love me. You don't love my kids. So yeah, so that's kind of why this video has kind of happened. My mum's got, she, she, she caves into a lot of peer pressure. Um, and that normally happens because she's in a weak place. People knock on the door. You know they show interest in her and da 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 this da da da. I haven't got any money da 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 da. She goes, she comes and knocks on the door just a minute ago and says, I um, I need some money for. I've got to pay a bill and I'm like, okay, how much do you need? About sixty pound. And I'm like, what? Because it's happened a few times where she knocks on the door asking for money and it's always an excuse that why she needs the money. Yeah. And you're saying that you feel like. The money that she's using, she's going to use it for either drugs or alcohol. Yeah, I mean, and I know what's going to happen. I know how she is. But generally, like, since the last time I've done a video and stuff, like, my relationship with my mum hasn't really massively improved. improved. Yeah. It's just to say the way it's always kind of been. One minute there's, it's a positive, next minute it's a negative. And I'm, I'm, as much as I'm saying, yes, I moved into a better place and I'm, I'm more positive about life and everything, as much as I just try to... Men mentally, I'm very strong. And even though, like, what's just happened is, like, I'm trying to be mentally strong and not be upset about it, but I'm literally upset. It's like you take two steps forward and then it's three steps back. Moving on from the first part of my life where it was all challenging and then I've gone to a better place. I had my kids, I got married, um, been dealing with my mum up and down for, for since, since we've had the kids. She's been up and down. One minute she's here, next minute she's not. Um, but, like... If I didn't have my wife and I didn't have my kids and that just happened, I probably would have been a proper emotional state in my flat and I probably would have started thinking all types of things if I was still in the same place that I was before. So luckily I had something positive that happened in my life which was the, my getting married and having my kids but not many people have that and they just keep sinking and sinking and sinking. Relax. And, yeah relapse and then people that are dealing with it like their kids just keep sinking and sinking and sinking and then it leads to people it, it leads to people um self-harming going into uh, depression um and mental health like it's all to do with the depression sadness it's all to do with mental health and i feel like there needs to be a little bit more help for 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 those type of people out there i mean i know there's probably line action lines out there and i don't know what you call them uh, Helplines. Help lines. So I have a question. Has your mum ever seeked help? She, she has. Meditation? The thing is, I'm not trying to say there ain't no help out there because she's had loads of help, but what she just relapses. She she's had? had every type of help you could think about. There's been doctors, there's been psychiatrists. She's gone to a mental unit a few times. Like, I'm in a better place and life is good and stuff, but it's just um, it's difficult to really move on from these things when there's always something that then pulls you back. And I was just saying it to, to Camilla, my biggest fear is 
a phone call coming through my phone telling me something bad has happened to my mum. It's the worst thing that could happen because... Basically, my the second part of this story, that it mainly comes down to the um, the worst thing that I think the the worst thing that I dread is a phone call coming through and and someone saying that your your mum's dead, and you shouldn't think like that, um, but it's the truth. And all I all I feel like is like I will always live with with, with regret, mm. thinking I should have done more. And I know I've always been a rock in in my little family, and I feel like I you know that's the worst thing. And it's just so frustrating. Like I was looking at my mum, and she's like, I'm trying to tell her like, Mum, what do you need the money for? This is not like a bank where you come and pick up your money and stuff like mm. that. Like you've got grandchildren, and she's like, I'm like, you really need to think about things. And she's walking off telling me, Yeah, I'll think about it. Like. At that, at that moment in time, I literally felt like I've totally lost all connection to my mum. So it's it's this that's kind of like where I'm at at the moment. It's kind of I've moved on and I'm trying to be strong and stuff, and I am being strong. But it's this, it's this. Yeah, that's the worst thing that I think will totally like bring me down. So as much as I'm in a much positive, a much better state of mind, like that, what just happened basically just kind of made me think quite deeply and stuff she's still taking drugs and she's still doing things and i just don't know how to help her and i don't know yeah. if i can help her anymore and that's the frustrating thing i feel like i've got no energy to help her anymore i'm tired i'm drained you know like i've moved on like we don't really talk that much i just got on my everyday life like i'm not in a bad place i didn't even i felt kind of embarrassed to say that to you because I shouldn't be thinking that, but my, but that I have no choice but to think that because she She's ain't doing nothing living, to come yeah. away from that. Yeah. So it's difficult. Um, I, it's difficult. You can only help people so much, and I feel like I've helped her as much as I can, and I can't go any further. I think it's really important because right now the suicide rates is gone really high, and mental health is something that's being spoken about a lot. Yeah, I just hope. I I just hope like. Again, people have the confidence to be able to talk about these things. Don't feel ashamed. Like I, I said, like I felt ashamed telling you that I feel like I could yeah, get a call. And why? It's this why did you because feel because it's like it's my mum and stuff, and I don't want to really talk bad about her. But like it's just how I'm feeling, and I feel like it's the truth. And I don't want anything bad to happen to her. But like she's just not doing nothing about it. Like she could go out now with that money and just go spend it, and you never know what could happen. So it's just. It's just I don't know how. There's only so much you can do to help people, um, and this is just like, what do you do? This is the sort of question I'm asking people. Like, what do you do if you feel like you can't help no somebody anymore? Yeah, but it's a bit like I'm not gonna go into too much detail about my family, but th there's not much I can do with my my family. So I understand what you're saying. Like, you've done so much that you can. Like you've done basically everything that you can do to help and you just feel helpless. Basically it is, what more can I do to help my mum? And two, yeah, I feel helpless. I feel like I can't do no more. And because the fact that I feel like I can't do no more and, I, and I'm dreading makes you feel the worst. I'm, yeah, and I'm dreading yeah. the worst and I know I can't do no more. And I feel like I have no choice but to just wait around and see how things go. She could change which she, tomorrow, but... She's had nearly 35 years of her life to change and she hasn't changed. I think the thing is there is space for her to change but she needs to want the change and until that, until they get to that place it's like it's difficult. When we had Raphael there was a time when I felt like we were more closer to her. I don't know if you agree but like she, she was coming by quite a lot. Yeah, she is very up and down, but I'm just at a point where I just can't do no more. But it's going to play on my mind. But I don't know, guys. Like, I feel like I've given everything. I've given my all and I just can't give any more. That's mm. literally it.
but I'm praying for a happy ending but I don't feel like it's gonna be like a happy ending I love my kids so much and and I just feel like one person that I want to, to love them as much as I love them it, on my side which mm. is my mum that she's not given that love and I feel like it's, I want them to feel like they've got all, all the from my side of the family which is my father and my mum because that's all we know they've got all the love that they can get from them guys mm. and with my mum I don't feel like they've felt that sort of love from her and I don't feel like she's given that effort for it so they're my everything if you can't give your the, the same sort of effort that I expect yeah. to them then then we can't have that relationship it's as simple as that like you need to be able to give them a hundred percent. Stop going out spending money on drugs. Take your kid, take your grandchildren out somewhere, or go spend buy some clothes for them or yourself. Just treat yourself. Look after yourself. Be happy. Like stop wasting it on drugs that last for a couple of hours. Like stop. Thank you for watching today. I'm not gonna say I hope you enjoyed it because it's not something I don't I don't feel you should no, enjoy. It's not. But I feel like this is real time stuff that's happened, and I feel like. I needed to talk about it because I know people are going for the same sort of things. People my age, my friends, um, because I spoke to people that are going for stuff. Just people that are generally watching this, like I know that you're going for the same sort of things, and it's. I just hope that you're you're moving forward, and uh, it, you know there's light at the end of the tunnel for you and your situation that you're going through. I think it's just important to show all types of. Not this. This it's is important to show different times in our, our lives like it's not just about all the happy videos that we do and like the challenges that we do so fame thank oh. you for sharing this <laughs> no, that's right. yeah we'll see you guys in our next video thank you cheers bye